No boat building video is complete without a picture of the sailing ship. This is the USS Constitution, a frigate, and still a commissioned ship in the United States Navy. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. This video episode is part two of testing the rig. And uh, I managed, as you can see, to set the mast up here inside the shop and uh, have got the mainsail bent on. So uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it was nice to see that after sewing the sails, they actually fit on the spars that we made. And uh, all in all, uh, it's going very well. Uh, it has also showed me where I need to fine tune this a little bit. I knew I needed some outhauls both on the boom and the gaff. So we'll take care of that. Um, just a few other little things that are gonna need uh, some adjustment, but uh, got a real good idea what this sail looks like when it's put on. I would like to uh, thank uh, the dough dish people, and I'm not sure exactly who put that video together, but there's a, there's a YouTube video called Rigging a Dough Dish. And if you're not familiar with it, a dough dish is a replica, I believe a fiberglass, hull replica of the uh, original Hershoff H 12 and a half. Uh, and so the video is very uh, instructive as far as how to set the mast up, uh, put the sail on, all these different sorts of things. Uh, the only criticism I would have about it is that it goes very fast. Um, and I know they tried to get a lot in in a short period, but the result for me was that I've watched the video 10 times and I stop it and I back it up and I find little details each time that I do it. And so um, that's fine, but this video uh, is a longer one. And part of the reason for that is because uh, I show how I lash the foot of the sail to the boom, how I uh, attach lines to the mast tubes, so that we can attach the luff of the sail and then lash the head of the sail onto the gaff. So uh, there's, there's quite a bit in this and for the person that's needing to know how to do this, I am in hopes that uh, my slower process uh, can show or provide some of those details. So anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, to the Jenkins Boat Works channel, uh, I would ask you to consider subscribing. Uh, we have a lot of boat building video, and not just of the Haven, but uh, some Chesapeake Lightcraft kayaks. Uh, those are stitch and glues. We have a couple of uh, different projects on cedar strip canoes. And so, uh, Got a lot of different things, and in even this build, uh, there's there's uh, sail making and spar making, and how we poured the lead keel, and so there's just an awful lot there. If you're interested, uh, please do consider subscribing. Click the little bell down below to get updates on future videos that we put out. And uh, for those of you that are coming back, we're glad you're here. Uh, this is part two of testing the rig. Uh, the first one uh, we just put out the other day and hopefully you got to watch. And in that one, we took the boat outside, stepped the mast, uh, and I figured out how to step the mast on my own, which is going to be key. Uh, this is going to be a trailer sailor for me. So anyway, we're glad you're here. Um, let's jump in and see how I get the rest of this put together. Oh, I'm so excited. This is so cool. So in the what's he doing now department, um, I have managed to stand the mast up inside the shop. 
The shop's 14 feet tall to the rafter, but there's enough of a pitch in the roof that I got it to stand up. And the way I did it, did you see that line there coming back down, tied off on the garage door? There's one extra um, fitting up at the top of the masthead, which would be like for a spinnaker halyard. So I just basically have tied off on that. I'd thrown this rope up over those rafters and then uh, pulled it up there. So what I'm gonna try and do now is straighten these lines out and see if I can actually put the mainsail on. We did the jib earlier outside, but I didn't want to pull the boat out. It's kind of windy out. And uh, I thought, you know what? I think I can just do this in here. So we're going to give that a whirl. Near disaster. I uh, had it tied off that way and it wanted to slip on the rafter, so now I've got it lodged in a corner, I think. Okay, so now I got the shrouds out of the way. Jib halyard, so I'm good with that. All right, so let's put the boom on. Now I got the boom on and it is just uh, sitting on a little step ladder here that you can't see. So now we'll put the gaff on. Okay, so the bale's on. Okay, so this is the throw tire. This is the peak halyard.
I got some very thin line. This is like, uh, I think four millimeter. I'm gonna use this, cut off a bunch of pieces and tie them onto the mast hoops. If you want, you can go and look at how I made the mast hoops. Um, there's a whole video on it that I did them a long time ago. Get the sail. I really, I haven't looked at the sail since they sewed it, really. Um, of course, there's video episode of, of making the sails, I think three. So I uh, check that out. We'll try to link these different things in the description. I think this goes on the gap. Yeah, because there's the throat. So this is the tack. Now I've got way more than I need here, but at least we're going to be able to cut this off once we know how much we need. I still need a little outhaul fitting on here, and I believe I'm going to need one on the on the boom as well. We should at least be able to get an idea, though. That should be more than plenty there. I don't want it too short. Most normal guys are out mowing their yard right now. Okay, so, so far, here's what we got. Both the peak and the throat halyards are tied off on the belaying pins. You can see that the throat's hoist a little bit. We've got lines tied to the mast hoops. The gaff has actually got a little line running around down to the boom just to hold it up for the moment. And now I've got the sail the uh, the foot of the sail laced onto the boom. I cut this line just a little short. I may take it off of there, cut one longer, and uh, actually use that piece of line for the gaff because the gaff is shorter than the boom. 
that could work. Okay, so I cut a new longer piece of line because I do want it coming through the tack. That's tied around the bottom of the boom and then it's laced all the way up there. I am gonna need an out haul back there, but for the moment I tied it in the uh, dead head of the, uh, where the main sheet would go through because I'm not gonna attach a sheet to this. So uh, it's kind of haphazard, but I've got it tied off on here. <laughs> this is reminding me of that Kevin Boothby guy that uh, is the How to Sail Oceans on YouTube. He's got a gaff rig that he sails all over the place and uh, he doesn't even have mast hoops. He's got his just laced to the mast, laced to his gaff and to the, to the boom. So anyway, now I had these little pieces of line that I tied on the mast hoops and I've run those through uh, everything all the way up until we get to the throat, which is here. The throat, we're gonna tie onto uh, the gaff here at the throat, and then we'll lace the head of the sail on to the gaff. And I did cut a new piece of line because the first one I had for the boom was too short, but it should be good for the, it should be good for the gaff. So, uh, anyway, oh, this is cool. Let's see if I can step back so you can get kind of a broader view of what, what it looks like. Now, if the mast doesn't fall down, we'll be good, but I've got it tied off pretty good over there. I got it tied off on the front of the boat trailer. So, uh, anyway, so far so good. Okay, so I've got the throat tied around the front of the gaff, and I'm gonna have to drill some holes in the gaff, um, in the jaws, I think, to uh, secure that better, but it'll work for now. And now I'm gonna start lacing the head of the sail around the gaff. I'm clearly going to need some sort of an out haul to tie this off on here, but um, for the moment, I'm just going to wrap it around there real good. And that's more than long enough. Holy smoke, <laughs> this is cool. Let's raise the sail. Well, I gotta untie this line. Whoops, it's all right. Topping lip would be nice. Okay. Here goes nothing. 
Wow. It's pretty severely scandalized when I can't raise the gap on up. Uh, but okay, so all this is working pretty good. Um, my hoops work. So my luff is in there, tied in there pretty tight. I will have to uh, tie that throat off closer to the mast. And I, like I said, I'll have to drill some holes up in the, up in the gaff or the gaff jaws. And then there's the gaff going back, but I'm, I'm, I got a rafter up there. I can't, I can't raise it on up. So pretty seriously scandalized at the minute, but peak halyards working and uh, wow, very cool. Really isn't much else I can do because uh, I suppose I could reef it. I got my reef points. I might try that. I bet I can get the peak on up there a little bit further. Yeah, I'll try that. This took a little while. I'm making reefing line. And uh, I marked them in the middle. I don't know how long these are. Probably close to two feet. And uh, so then I'm just tying an overhand knot in here. Right close to that midpoint. Just like that. And then run it through the reef point. I uh, I whipped all these lines, but there's still a little bit of a little bit of rust up on the end. So now I can pull that all the way up in there. Now I know I'm halfway on both sides. Let's tie that. Tie that dude off with an overhand knot on this side and on the other side, and now I got my reef line. Still need one, two, three more. To lower the halyards uh, and see if I can get my my uh, uh, tack reef point secured around the mast. Well, after all that, I didn't gain very much. I still can't. I still can't lift the. Okay, so you can see my problem up there. I'm just I'm running into the rafters with the uh, with the peak, but uh, I feel fairly well convinced that that's going to work. So I need to drill my holes in the gaff jaws and. Uh, that's what the reef tied in. I just can't lower the boom anymore because the gooseneck is, um, it's, it's just where it is. It doesn't raise up and down. It's stationary, so. Ha, oh man. I'm learning what I still need to do. I gotta get my outhauls on the end of the gap and on the end of the boom, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. It's nice to see that it fits on the spar, so that's clearly a step in the right direction. Only took me a day to figure out that I could lower both halyards 
and uh, get the peak to go on up. We're really close to the roof. So I just lowered both halyards and raised the peak way up. And of course we've, we've got the reef in. So I need an outhaul line on the back of the, the uh, uh, clue reef point here that would have to be stretched out. And the other thing that I notice is that my span is definitely too big uh, because I'm right up against the block and the, and the uh, mast when it's reefed. Um, but it really gives you an idea uh, what it can look like. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.